Okay, so we just finished our pop-up and I just wanted to give some thoughts on it. So if you watched my last vlog, you'll know that I reached out to kind of like a retailer. It's one that I love purchasing from. Um, I think all of their foods are delicious. So I reached out because they were doing pop-ups with other people. So I just kind of shot my shot to see if they would love to do a pop-up with me as well. Um, and then I got on the phone with them to kind of talk to them about what I do and see where we can align and then also scheduling when the pop-up is and it's my first pop-up of the year and honestly it went really well when i got there i wasn't sure like how i would do because it was in an area that i wasn't like too familiar with um it was a little bit outside of my old neighborhood so i wasn't sure like how much inventory to bring how many people would show up um but overall like i think it went really well it started off a little bit slow because i i went around um lunchtime and this is more of like a dessert kind of shop and so people usually came like after church or after lunch brunch um and so it kind of picked up after that it was really cute because there were some people who actually showed up just for my pop-up uh, which never happens um, because I feel like usually when I work with a retailer or something um, they go to the retailer and then they just so happen to see my pop-up but the retailer actually posted my stuff on their Instagram stories and then people saw and they were like oh I just saw like their Instagram stories and I want to see your stuff so that was really nice to experience to be honest and I've done a few pop-ups like somewhat in that area looking at the numbers at the end of the day um, it just so happens that this was one of my best pop-ups I sold almost 80 units of my product which is insane because I feel like I'm usually around like 50s or so um, but this time around like people were purchasing a lot more and um, both units and dollar wise and this was also the pop-up that I increased my price a little bit just because of everything that's going on and like I felt like I was kind of undercharging myself in the beginning so I increased my price by like a dollar for my pins and my keychains so I'm happy that people still bought my stuff anyways but yeah I thought that that was a really great pop-up um, it was also the first one where I felt like I was like really close with the owner itself because usually when I do other pop-ups I feel like I I talked to the owners like here and there like in the beginning and the end but this time around like I felt like I had a full-on conversation with the owner which was nice um he was really nice and I mean I would definitely do it again if I had the opportunity but yeah that's my first pop-up of the year and I'm, I'm glad it went well but yeah so after Costa Rica I have two other pop-ups to do in May um, but really it's four because one of them is a three-day event I'm excited about uh, after settling in to the idea that I have to probably commute for three days but it's fine I think because I haven't like been to the city that often this year uh, maybe once or twice so it would be nice to kind of just go in and see what's going on as well so one thing new about this pop-up is that I have a new table runner and so because I've been doing a lot of pop-ups and I have a few more in the future, I really wanted to really elevate my table and have my brand and my logo up in front of everybody so that people will remember me. So it took me about like two weeks to kind of design my logo, have it um, ordered from a manufacturer and then ship it out to my door um, and honestly I'm kind of impressed with it so here's me kind of testing it out in my studio and then having it at my first pop-up ever <music>
Costa Rica and we are at the Mystico Park where we're seeing um, the hanging bridges. That's what they're known for here in La Fortuna. So it's gonna look like that bridge over there, but we're also seeing the volcano. vacation and that was our last vacation of the year so I'm excited to just kind of get back to work a little bit um, good news bad news is that like the bad news I didn't get any orders while I was gone for the week uh, which is fine because I would have felt bad having to pack it a week later um, but the good news is like coincidentally I got two wholesale orders like literally when I got off the plane that Saturday um, so I'm just trying to pack everything right now um, and then I'm gonna ship it out on Monday because it's closed on Sundays. So let's pack a little bit. But before we do that, I actually got a package while I was away. It is a kind of like a reorder of my table banner, um, which the first time around I was a little pissed about because there was like a misprint on their end. So when I got the table banner i was super excited because it's like my first table banner i'm just starting to get into pop-ups so i was like this is really gonna elevate my pop-up experience people are gonna know who i am because i also have a new logo so i was pumped to get this table banner but when i actually got it and it was like two days before 
my first pop-up of the year and I noticed that the bottom part was a little off when it came to the printing um, and so I reached out to them and they said that like my preview looked like that but then I was like there's no way that I would have messed that up because I always double check my artwork or whatever so I think the issue was when I input it into their platform before getting um, printed like I, I don't know why it got like I guess compressed or something happened like in between me putting it in submitting it and then the preview showing but it would I guess the printing was exactly like the preview which had that little mishap which I guess I didn't see when I was previewing it um, it was like very minuscule like you had to like really zoom in the preview to see it so I missed out on it but I reached out to them and they decided to give me a new one for free luckily I didn't have to pay for another one so now I'm going to check it to see if it looks good and it seems that it looks good so I'm excited to use this for my summer pop-up events I'm glad that like I didn't have to like pay extra for this at all because I mean I don't know whose fault it was at the end of the day but I my PDF or PNG was correct in submitting it so whatever and then so another update for my shop is that um, the pin situation I feel like this is like my third video on giving you an update on my pins and it's still not here and I'm kind of getting a little frustrated because I actually wanted it before my last pop-up but I definitely wanted it for my next couple pop-ups because I have like four pop-ups in like one week so I feel like it would be such a missed opportunity if I didn't show my pins in those pop-ups so I'm a little annoyed that it's taking forever so I reached out again this week it's I'm two weeks out before my next pop-up and they said that they're in the middle of like their labor week or I think it's like golden week right now um which I completely forgot about I thought it was like later in the, the year but apparently it happens multiple times in a year so this was one of them and so they said they weren't working on it this week when I followed up and I guess the whole like lead time for them to produce my pins which is only like five is gonna take 18 to 22 days and again I submitted my pins like finalized my pins for them to like make the molds and print everything out um, before I left for my trip so I thought that it would be done by now and I remember like doing this two years ago or last year in December um, and it didn't take that long or at least I don't remember it taking that long and this was like during Christmas time I submitted it in like around Christmas finalized maybe like mid and January um, and again this was like 10 pins at the time and I got my pins like early Feb so I'm kind of a little bit annoyed that these five pins of mine are taking such a long time and I I just I'm trying to like push them every single day to see if there's updates but there's not much of an update. Yeah, so I don't think I can do much about this pin situation anymore. I'm just gonna wait it out, I guess. Um, but in the meantime, I'll probably just pack all the orders that I have and get everything else ready for the next pop-ups. So I think that's where I'm gonna end this vlog. Um, yeah, so bye!